Shopify world. My name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io and in this series we review Shopify apps. So welcome to the new setting with a new camera, new light. We're still working on the sound and this week we are reviewing a email marketing app actually made by Shopify called Shopify Emails. Uh, it has a 3.3 out of 5 star rating and it came out rather recently, a couple of months. We're going to talk about how it looks behind the scenes and a whole bunch of these other elements or maybe I'm gonna edit it here I don't quite know it yet so make sure to check out the timestamps and jump to the section that you like best one question I get a lot is Andrew you are a speed optimization expert for Shopify why do you do this well don't forget that every time you add apps to your store even if those apps are free it adds codes to your store that if afterwards you delete the app, the code stays there, it slows down your store and this eventually has an impact on conversion and the money in your pocket in the end of the month. So that's why we're reviewing all of these apps. Okay, enough talking, let's go behind the scenes and check out the app. All right, the app is installed and we are looking at the app dashboard. The dashboard is clean and there is only one option, create an email. Let's click on that to see what happens next. A new window appeared and now we need to choose a starting point. We can choose from branded templates and previous emails. Considering that we just installed the app, there are no previous emails. So let's take a look at branded templates. There are six of them, featured products, sales announcements, end of sales, and here's the rest. And they say that more templates are coming soon, which makes sense since it recently came out. We will go with sale announcements. We are on the content page and there are not so many options here. And by pressing this button up here on the right, you can adapt the email for mobile or desktop. We will choose a desktop and actually we will check in the next section how it looks on mobile, even though we chose desktop. On this window, you can easily customize your email by editing text, buttons, images, and more to make it your own. Below that, we have email styles where you can change the overall look of your email. So um, let's give that a try. Here we can change the colors of the content background and the color of the template background. Uh, to be honest, I expected it to be a little bit more creative, but all right. Also changes are applying to all sections, not just the chosen ones. And there is an undo button up here on the right if you decide to cancel your changes. And right here there is the feedback button. So now that we are done creating our email, we're going to send a test to check it out. You can find the test button right here in the top right corner. So that's pretty cool and everything, but how does the app actually look on mobile? I got my mobile right here, so um, let's check it out. So if I go to the email that I just received, the test email, I click on it and look at that. It's looking pretty sharp and good, so works on mobile as well. Very important to check it out. Okay, let's talk about competition. What other apps should you check out before you install this one? Well, obviously we have the market leader in these apps, which is, you guessed it, Clavio. And we already reviewed them, so make sure to check out that video up here. We also have OmniSense that we also reviewed. Uh, check it up up here. We have AC Marketing Automation. We have Drip. We have Send in Blue. We have Seguno, which, Guess what? You're never gonna guess. You can check Seguno up here. And then we have Smart Mail Email Marketer. Um, as for the ratings, like I said, a 3.3 out of 5 star rating. It's a relatively new app, although it is from Shopify. This is the breakdown from all the ratings. So you can check. Let's zoom in on the one stars right here. We'll overlay a couple of them so you can kind of see the vibe uh, of the bad reviews. Don't forget these are, there's bad reviews even in the best app. So this doesn't mean the app is necessarily bad, just to give you a better insight on things. And then finally, what about pricing? Actually, it's a really good deal. It's free up to 2,500 emails. So if you kind of want to dip your toe in email marketing, which you absolutely should because 
I'm not a marketer, but it is low hanging fruit. If you kind of want to dip your toe in it, this is really a good option to go. I think free up until 2,500 emails. After that, it becomes $1 per thousand emails. I mean, that's really no money compared to the competition. And afterwards, when you see that email marketing is really making you money, then maybe you can upgrade to the other apps out there in the ecosystem. Thank you so much for watching this app review. Make sure to check out the performance of your Shopify store at testmystorespeed.com. My name is Andrew and I will see you in another Shopify app review. Adios!